Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, I've got a really exciting one for you. Saluna Holdings, it's related to the Bitcoin mining sector, but they've done a really good job of differentiating themselves from some of the core miners we cover on the channel regularly. This is a super high growth sector, you guys. The Bitcoin space has been on fire over the last few months, and I think this is really just the beginning of what we can expect from the crypto and Bitcoin mining space overall. Now with that being said, we've got a lot to go through today in relation to Saluna. Before we get into it, please take a second, hit the like button. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to join. And let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on the Bitcoin space. If you're currently holding shares of Saluna and your outlook for the sector as a whole moving into next year's having event. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right, today's video we're going to be profiling Saluna Holdings Incorporated trades on the NASDAQ under the ticker SLNH. As you can see here, this is as of November 2nd, about midday, having a great day, up over 7%, really reflective of the health and strength we're seeing in the Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining sectors, getting Saluna to a share price just north of $2.51 US. Now on the screen, I've got a one year chart pulled up. You can see very similar to a lot of the other miners we cover on the channel. This company definitely has been beaten up over the past year. However, in my personal opinion, the bottom is in for Bitcoin and we should start to see some strength return to the sector. Now Saluna is in a really unique situation. They're focused on recovering wasted or excess power, which really lends itself nicely to the Bitcoin mining or hosting type of industry, but they've got some other revenue streams as well that we're going to explore in today's presentation. Now first off, we'll jump to the company website, salunacomputing.com. I'll leave this linked in the video description below and give you guys a high level intro in terms of what Saluna is all about. So you can see harnessing the power of computing to accelerate the renewable energy future. Our data centers buy excess megawatts to use for batch oriented computing intensive processes such as cryptocurrency mining or Bitcoin mining and machine learning, which provides a low risk, low friction solution to harnessing this excess power that would otherwise be wasted. And if you continue to scroll down, you can see a great interview with the CEO talking about Saluna and showing some of their various different projects. So I'll play the intro of here just so you get an idea of what we're actually talking about. Saluna is a new infrastructure company. We're building infrastructure that will help renewable energy become a superpower. We are now in a massive transition to move from fossil fuels to renewable energy, and that's fantastic. But there's one thing that most people don't understand, and that is that there's this big problem in the industry, wasted energy. And solving that wasted energy problem is exactly what we're gonna explore in the remainder of today's video. So at a high level, this is a digital infrastructure company that's focused on converting wasted renewable energy to global computing for Bitcoin mining and HPC or high performance computing, along with AI opportunities. So many of the same verticals that we're seeing some of the hardcore crypto miner or Bitcoin miner companies moving into now with a focus on being a leading curtailment solutions provider to the renewable energy business. ROIC or return on invested capital and capital discipline with power costs in the neighborhood of about 2.7 cents per kilowatt hour, which is extremely competitive and a long-term strategy moving into the vertical of artificial intelligence or AI as I just alluded to. Now in terms of some of the statistics, they've got 75 megawatts under management and a hash rate just shy of one exahash per second. That's as of May of this year with consolidated annual revenue forecasted to be in the neighborhood of about $37 million for 2024. So at a high level, it's a very simple business model. You can see three core steps here on the left, focused on excess energy from renewable sources. Saluna then buys that curtailed energy from these renewable power plants and converts it to clean, low cost global computing power, which then in turn powers things like Bitcoin mining, high performance computing, and as we just saw, AI or artificial intelligence opportunities. So here's another look at how they're actually solving that wasted energy problem. 
building data centers that consume the curtailed renewable energy, in this case from a 150 megawatt wind farm. Now because these data centers are purpose built and have access to this ongoing renewable energy, they can do a lot more than just mine Bitcoin, which we're going to talk about a little bit later in the presentation. Now in terms of the specs of these modular data centers themselves, they've got full remote monitoring for both operations and security, AI driven diagnostics that are built in, autonomous operations, 10 gig ethernet and wireless backup, and measure 70 by 12 by 14 feet in prefabricated buildings. And on top of that, they've got a Maestro operating system or Maestro OS, which allows enhanced control, operations, and power management solutions, as you can see achieving 99% curtailment in less than 60 seconds. So what this means is Saluna Computing or Saluna Holdings really has access to a massive TAM or total addressable market in excess of $120 billion. So by focusing their long-term strategy on dominating a few relatively small niche markets like Bitcoin mining, GPU cloud, AI, etc., and their zero carbon cloud footprint, along with catering to markets and areas not served by traditional data centers, Saluna is confident they can take advantage of this opportunity and expand into the broader market over time. And you can see a breakdown of that $120 billion opportunity on the right, including digital currencies, scientific research, AI machine learning, and additional HPC or high performance computing tasks. Now a little earlier, I said this company does more than just mine Bitcoin. And here you can actually see some of the various revenue streams, both currently generating revenue and expected to in the future. So prop Bitcoin mining is the first and foremost using Saluna owned or joint venture owned Bitcoin mining rigs. They sell their Bitcoin daily, so they're not interested in holding on or hodling their Bitcoin. And they provide the managed infrastructure services themselves. Now the second current revenue source is hosting for Bitcoin miners. So these are third party machines that are hosted in the data centers, again, managed by Saluna. And then the future revenue sources, as we alluded to high performance computing, which includes GPU cloud services like AI, machine learning, simulations, visualizations, and predictive analytics and grid ancillary services, which are launching in this quarter of this year. Now in terms of their actual pipeline of projects, we're gonna take a look at some of these examples in a second, but you can see a variety of different data centers either already operating or in the pipeline and which type of renewable energy they're powered by. So their Sophie site, which is already operating at 25 megawatts powered by hydro. They've got their 100 megawatt Dorothy project of which 50 megawatts is operating powered by wind and their 166 megawatt KD project, which is currently in design phase, again, powered by wind, along with up to two gigawatts projected on their long-term pipeline. And as promised, here's a look at these different projects. You've got Dorothy 1A here, which is focused on hosting with estimated annual revenue in the neighborhood of about $16.5 million. You've got Dorothy 1B, which is the second 25 megawatt component of this project. This is gonna be focused on prop mining with estimated annual revenues in the neighborhood of about $18 million. Sophie, which was their initial 25 megawatt project, which again is focused on hosting. And then finally their KD project, which again was 166 megawatts, which is currently in the design phase. Now, before I let you go, I quickly wanted to introduce you to the Saluna leadership team. We saw a few brief comments from the CEO, John, in the intro there, but I would definitely encourage you guys to go in and take a closer look at this group, extremely experienced and well-connected individuals that together with the other points we discussed in today's video, make for a very compelling opportunity. So for those reasons, you guys, I would definitely encourage you to take a look at Saluna Holdings, especially if you're looking for exposure to the Bitcoin mining and hosting sector. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value. So make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to join. We'd love to have you. That's all for now. We'll see you in the next video.